Uh, I'm Asif Saloum from Syria. Uh, I'm uh, 43 years old. Uh, I'm married. I have Adam and Julia. Um, I studied in Syria English literature. We call it not philology, we call it literature. So we graduate in four years and then I got my master's in um, linguistics. In Syria, I was running my PhD, then the war started. So my half Polish wife and I uh, decided to move to Poland. She uh, She's half Polish, half Syrian. We met in Syria 32 years ago. It was a long, long, long time ago. <laughs> and um, she's a pianist also, and I'm a musician. So first we heard each other playing music. We, we lived next to each other, like balconies. And then, yeah, it was so romantic. And then, so we, you know, we had some relationship for a couple of years, then we got, we got married in Syria. We haven't thought about coming here because things, we had also a school, kind of music school and English school there. Uh, we both were both teachers, but the war unfortunately uh, started, and uh, we, we by that time Adam was uh, born in Syria, and our son, our firstborn, and uh, he was three months old. So we came to uh, Lublin, where my wife was born. Uh, I will not say when, but she was born in Lublin all time ago. Not all time ago. I mean, okay, she will kill me, but anyway, so. Um, so we came here and we took upon uh, master's study, uh, both of us. We studied at school uh, in the law department in um, European studies. Uh, we studied with um, Americans, French, British, Australian. We, we had this kind of uh, uh, mini global uh, atmosphere there. I graduated as the best student, although we're studying in English, it was their, na their native uh, tongue, but I graduated as the best student in of cool. And then I took upon uh, PhD studies in philosophy. And uh, two years ago, I was chosen as the best doctorate in Poland, as the best doctoral student in Poland. So this is... Um, to wrap it up, 10 months ago, we had, 11 months ago, we had Julia, our second born, and then she is fine, so what, what are we doing here? A few months ago, we started to, to plan to have our own uh, Jawalnosh, our own business, our own, um, actually, starting a job here in, in Poland is, uh, on the contrary of what many, many will think, it's, it's pretty much easy. So you just need to register a company through internet and that's, that's for free, Zadarmo, it's, you can do it for free. And um, then you, you can select, you can choose whatever activities or, or functions you, you are running in your, in your, so you could be a teacher, you could be a musician, you could be a builder, you could be whatever, you want this is this is a really um, let's say easy easy peasy and and good start you don't need to go for any documentation or any so this is what we thought about and um, we started because we are both teachers and musicians so we started this uh, activity here i rented a place and uh, uh, I thought about, uh, because we already have kids, so, uh, and we keep taking them for Sal Zaba, for, for, for playrooms in, in Lublin. So usually playrooms, usually they are just plastic balls and kids will, will just throw it. And then, uh, I'm bored, etc. So we said, let's have a place where kids can really take what they need. So this is sport, this is music, this is, Brain train, this is English, of course we speak moving Polsku, we speak in Polish and we speak in English with, with the kids. Uh, so we have a uh, sports spot, we have music room, we have a uh, creativity room, we have uh, the best dinosaur in Poland even. Uh, they can sit on it and it rides like a car and uh, so we, we tried to, to create our own different uh, Salazabov, our own approach for, for Salazabov. 
for for a playroom and actually we we are we are doing fine because um, it was surprising for us that it's two months ago we started two months ago and we we got really good echoes so from from all around so it's it's really advisable here just to dare to do it so just do it with the business there was no real uh, cultural shock for me coming here as a student, simply speaking, because maybe I, I my mother-in-law, Zosha, in Syria, we accustomed to, to pierogi and to shvienta and to this and to that, to the Polish traditions there. So it wasn't that strange for me on the one hand. On the other hand, in Syria, we had open society. It's not like what the media show, shows all, all the time. So we have different story. The reality is totally different there we are so normal open people like here so this is it wasn't there wasn't a cultural shock but um, some some systems are different some um, habits were different yet um, as a Syrian as whatever I was really accepted and respected by um, by all of our atmosphere I don't I don't think and I disagree totally with this reputation of discrimination or racism or so I, I personally have a different perspective for for this for this because as as long as you respect this society because we should understand that Poland Poland has special history it was attacked from both neighbors from both flanks so we should understand this history and that people here um, are proud with, of their nation and so we foreigners can't simply come here and try to do like France and Britain change this country and to become some some another country so um, as long as you respect the atmosphere they you will be accepted you will be respected for me it was it was really good start no no worries my university the Catholic University really helped me, that, that was genuine, we, should, we are grateful all the time for their help, uh, supported in everything they could, so that was, that was uh, something. Um, and I th always think that regardless the geography, you are a good person, you will, be, you will be respected and accepted, you respect people, you behave well, you will, you will be accepted. You are aggressive and you will be in a ghetto and you will be alone so people will treat you the same so i think as a student i would say this this um, a very helpful open society was uh, in terms of i mean the community the students community so you have maybe one downside i may mention here maybe one um, let's say not not good thing when you come here, Polish language is a hell. So this is this is kind of it's very hard. Bardzo uh, trudne. And when you come here, so you want to communicate with people. You want to so wszystko po polsku. Everything napisane po polsku. Everything is written in Polish. So not an English word. So sometimes no even correspondence with us as foreign students is done by in Polish. So this is. You know, for 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 newcomers, it, it's not always something easy for them because um, uh, you know, in English you say "be in Popolsko pszczoła." So so the, you know, so it will be a different story for reading and for pronunciation and for so that 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 would be a downside in in, in this. But but usually you will you will find here as a foreign student you will find many associations which really help you and support you. <laughs> Uh, actually, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm busy enough and maybe not, not that smart to, to learn Polish. I just heard people speaking and then, then I spoke it. I haven't even, even you know, spent a day to, to learn any. Uh, actually, uh, we studied something in linguistics that if you like a society, a language, you will learn the language of this society. If you don't, you'll ha always have this psychological barrier. So I don't like this society, so I'll not speak the language. So for me, lovely society, lovely people, smiling people. So language started to, to crack a bit. So it started to become easier. 
actually, the, um, foreigners can find simply here uh, in Lublin. I may mention Cevos Centrum Volunteriatus or Volunteer Center. I may mention the Rule of Law organization. I worked there for two years actually, and in that, this is Chopina Street, and in that uh, organization that. Association, they give uh, legal help for free for, for everybody, for Polish, and they have a big part for uh, foreigners, so they help them, they help the foreigners. And I would mention Homophob, they, they, they supported, um, of course, I'm not talking about financial support, I'm not talking about, I'm talking about they, they tell you what to do here, what to do there, they, you will find, uh, cool has a special maybe program for this. UMCS has a special program for, for foreigners. As a foreigner, you will not be lost here. It, there is no chance that you know nobody will help you. You will be led through. So everybody will tell you what to do from A to Z. So it, it would be it would be easy. So yeah. <laughs> I was chosen maybe because of some CV here and there, some, some achievements. Some, I, I was um, always involved in, in Lublin, so doing, doing things. I worked for foreigners for a couple of years till now. Um, so, yes, and um, as a Syrian, they needed a, a person from that place of, of, of the world. So, um, actually, um, this is a great occasion because for me, regardless if you were atheist of, of, or if you were a believer, this is not this is not the point. Um, the point for for me was was like this: any act of peace, any act of integration, any activity to promote peace, to promote integration, to say that. I always like to stress the common denominators. What, how do we meet? Not how we are different. Because, okay, we are different in many things. But then maybe the sexy thing is how are we? How are we similar? How where can we meet? So any initiation, any initiative for peace, for integration, I was always for this one. The um, the church in, in, in um, Lublin called me for to be one of the three kings. I said it's it's an honor. Um, it is a big the biggest maybe social activity in, in Lublin. And uh, usually in when we are in this um, orshak in this uh, procession in the, in the in the entourage, usually I just play with the kids all the time. So I just wave for them and you know make faces and they take pictures. And this is maybe my biggest attraction there. Look, uh, this is my sixth year, sixth year in, in, in Poland here, in Lublin especially. Uh, Lublin is the second city in Poland after Warsaw in the biggest number of foreign students. So this is something. And maybe this year it was the, the first. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure, but for sure, for three years now, it's the second. Um, of course, I've met many people who form their own ghettos, who like to be together all the time, who walk together, who talk to each other so they don't talk, they don't integrate. They are here to study this uh, four years, five years, whatever, and go home, that's it. No integration, no nothing. Personally, I can't understand this because, simply speaking, you have a very historical city on the one hand. Lublin is is a beautiful woman. She is, she is so um, uh, tender, so sweet. She's so modern. She's so proud. You can discover her. You can discover this city. Instead of just sitting at your home and talking to your own, just blanket to your own friends, to your own. So go integrate. You will find many beautiful places and people there. Um, I, I, we had this problem sometimes with some nationalities. They like really to congregate together and that's it. So this is us. We'll spend this time and go home. If uh, you try a different approach, you will be surprised with the beauty of, of be people and the city as well. It's not only that you are here to, okay, study, be good students. I am a good student. I studied. 
and I integrated well, and I started my own business, and it was really, really good. So instead of just spending this time alone with your own friends, you go meet, meet Polish people. They are beautiful people. Look, I came from a different background, so this is Chepo uh, Chepo Krai. We have we have we uh, we used to walk five minutes and swim in the sea. So most of the time, no clothes because because we we didn't need them. Zartuj, of course. The point is, most of the time it was very warm. So usually the weather is warmer and people are warmer. So we joke more there. Of course, more than Polish people. And if you don't, if you want to go um, on the surface of things, I would divide Polish society into two layers: the surface and deep down. The surface, they will give you sometimes the cold face. So on the surface, when you come to maybe speak to somebody, they may look that they are cold. Okay, this is a cold country. The country was. Uh, occupied and absented from the map for 123 years and then suffered communism for a long time and then suddenly capitalism came and the country is still unstable, okay? You have to pardon them, you have to give them a slack, you have to give them a peace. So, I mean, you don't overjudge people. Just coming to people and judge them, you are cold and that's it. This is easy it's, it's, and it's not smart so much. You have to go deep inside. When you, maybe the first front, the first facade would be a bit cold, but go deep inside. There are very warm people and very nice people and very hot people. So the point is that it doesn't doesn't have to do. I don't think that giving the first the first impression is always true, but not in Poland. The first impression is always true, but not in Poland. In Poland, you need maybe a second, a third, a fourth impression. So you have to go in the second layer, not the first layer. The second layer would be, would be much better. So uh, yes, I came from a different background. We joke so much, we jump, we sing, we dance, we, I don't, we carry each other, we, we flip, it's, we are crazy there. So this is how boys and girls, sometimes you joke here and they give you this, why you are joking, you know? What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm joking, it's, it's not. Uh, we had this tradition of picking up the phone in, in Syria or Latakia, my city, and hey, hello, how are you? I missed you, and hang up, for no reason. When I came here, I picked up the phone to my close friends, and hey, how are you? So, Tom, no, just say, saying hello. Ah, so you don't know, want anything? No, I'm, I just want to say hello. Okay, to it, it was... Strange for them that somebody is just calling to say hello, you know, or somebody. You always need to say something. Of course, it's, as I said, maybe two, two different layers. So the first layer would be a bit cold, but you have to just dig deep inside and you'll find something more beautiful. I wouldn't say that things were that smooth, that easy, that, but I think here, no society is typical or perfect, and no country is typical and perfect. There is nothing. This is a lie. This is a, a romantic idea. There is no perfect or, or with no mistakes society or so. But I think that if you are a positive person, you will just focus on positive sides. And if you are a negative person, you will just nag and cry and focus on negative sides and try to find negative sides. Personally speaking, everybody has their own sorrows, their own problems. Their own. I personally, I'm smiling, I'm laughing, but I lost 37 years of my life in that war. Everything we built was lost. You know, We lost our home, we lost our cars, we lost our um, jobs, we lost our friends, families. Yet, starting here from zero wasn't, wasn't that easy. It looks now easy. It wasn't. But... It depends, it relies on Zalejina, your own perspective. You are a positive person, you are a strong person, you can resurvive, resurrect all the time. You will try to, you know, telescope for, for mistakes and vices and mishabits. You will find them, of course you will find them, but 
just over overcome, overrule those bad habits and just go go find the good ones. I want to hug you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> say, say black in, in, uh, in Arabic. In Arabic, but Tony. Okay. okay. لا بطئ سرتي ولا 